What is going on you guys? It's Tutorial Tim here, TT, whatever you want to call me. Let's get started. I'm going to teach you guys how to make, uh, just create a responsive grid in Adobe Experience Design now. Um, <clears throat> I just learned, uh, I'm definitely getting the hang of uh, Adobe Experience Design. I love the way it works. Uh, right now, this is going to be kind of the result we'll be getting from our grid. I kind of have it locked because I plan on using it in my design later on. I'm actually going to create some tutorials on how to create wireframes and then from there actually design a responsive website. So, as you can see, we have, I have this, it's actually dimmed down. Uh, we're going to be creating a, just like a grid, a nice responsive grid, so let's get started. I'm going to delete this here, and we're going to start from scratch, and uh, also, you're going to want to go to File, New. I clicked on Web, the 1920 by 1080 pixels, just click on that, but I already have it, so I'm just going to click X. And now, we have our square, I'm going to just click and drag, and uh, I'm going to change the height to 1080, and then... I'm going to change the width to 1170. So once you do that, you're going to want to snap your grid. I'm going to hit V to get my move tool here. I'm going to snap my grid right in the middle. All right. Now that I have that, I'm going to get rid of the border and I'm going to change the fill so it's visible. So I know what I'm doing here. And now I'm actually going to do Command D, which is duplicate, or you go to Edit, Duplicate. And now that I have that duplicated, I'm going to change it to 15 pixels. So what that's going to do is I'm going to change the color of the fill so you guys can see that. See, as you can see, you see this? Uh, this is our gutter. So that's that's what that's. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. So right now we have our we've created our gutter, and I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and click and drag to the right, left click and drag to the right, and now I have a gutter on each side of 15 pixels wide and a height of 1080 pixels. All right, so now that you have that done, you have your gutter and then your, your layout, we're gonna go to our rectangle tool again, and uh, you can just drag down. Actually, an easier way to do this is you're just gonna click on this, Alt, Shift, just to the side, and then you're gonna change the width to 67.5 pixels. All right, and now that we have that, I'm actually gonna change the fill to this to black just so I can differentiate everything going on here and then I'm going to snap it by holding shift and left clicking and dragging to my left and snapping it to my gutter and now that that's sh <coughs> snapped I'm gonna go to I'm actually gonna hold alt and shift again and create another one but I'm gonna change the width to 30 pixels so now that we have that 30 pixels I'm gonna change the color to differentiate um, the spacing so this will be like our our spacing in between guides and I'm gonna actually shift click and drag to my left and now that I have that I'm actually gonna sh shift click on the black one and the light gray and I'm gonna click repeat grid at the top right hand corner of the screen and now that I have repeat grid is you, you notice that there is this little thing I can drag and it's gonna repeat my whoops it's gonna repeat my grid and I'm just going to repeat all the way to the edge here. Let's zoom in here and make this easier for you guys. So I zoomed in all the way over here and snapped right here next to the gutter. And as you can see, this isn't, this isn't uh, correct. And uh, it doesn't snap perfectly. I want, this, I want this black column to snap right here with my gutter. So I'm going to drag this all the way over here. And you'll notice that you can... Uh, hover over this this space of this white space and if you click on it you notice that there's a a 20 pixel gap if you double click you'll see it pop up but uh, what we're gonna want to do is oh when you're in that space hover it over it you can left click and hold and drag to your left and you'll start getting reducing that space and you'll see the numbers go down so I'm gonna go to all the way to zero and then I'm going to go back to this uh, green lever, this white lever, and it turns green when you have over it. And then I'm gonna drag it back to the right. And notice it's not snapped quite, quite right just yet. So I'm actually going to, and this actually gets kind of tricky. You're gonna have to be very, have that keen eye to spot. You'll notice when I hover over, there's that pink line that used to be there and it was much more visible, but since we got rid of that spacing I, that 20, 20 pixels of space you don't you don't see it as well it's just a thin pink line and when you find that thin pink line you're gonna want to uh, you don't want to mess with the spacing pretty much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this 
this white lever it's going to turn green when I hover over it and get rid of that spacing click on my pink one and I'm actually going to drag until it snaps on that gutter so now that it's snapped I got my I got my responsive grid ready to go and that's how you do that um, now uh, I'm going to click on my gutters on my left and right and I'm actually going to change the color to white and I believe, okay, no, I thought they had a border, but they don't. And if anything has a border, make sure there's no border, just fill on everything we're creating. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do, <clears throat> what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, I'm gonna actually, uh, so now, now that we have our grid complete, I'm gonna go to my move tool, okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna double click inside uh, of my repeat grid because notice that uh, don't do what I'm doing right now. I'm just giving an example. Every time you click on your grid, uh, you won't be able to select your object that we're trying to select. So double click on that uh, that thin rectangle, that gray rectangle, and we're gonna change the the fill color. We're just gonna change it to white. And now I'm actually going to hover over th everything and select, or you could go Command A. Actually, no, hover over everything and select, or Command A, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to go to Object, Group, or Command G for shortcut, for the shortcut key. And then, as you can see, you have this uh, responsive guide layout for you in Adobe Experience Design, and you can change the opacity. I like to, when I'm creating wireframes or, or anything, I like to keep it nice and light, like at two percent it's, it's just visible enough for me to see and then what I do is I just lock the group and if you don't want to see it you just turn it off right there boom you know want to see that beautiful design hiding under that grid you do that so that is how you create a responsive guides in Adobe experience design guys I hope you like the video please comment rate and subscribe and uh, if you have any other suggestions for videos you want from me uh, just ask me I'm here and I'll see you in the next one. This is Tutorial Tim, and I'll see you.